Hey guys, what's up? It's TF. Now welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. This time it's going to be of the One Shot Toys 112th Scale Spirit Detective, aka Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho. I am very surprised that this show is pretty beloved by a lot of people, and there really isn't that many collectibles for Yu Yu Hakusho, especially from you know like Good Smiles Company or uh, the Bandai Tamashii Nation. But we do have this smaller company here that I'm not familiar with, One Shot Toys, making this figure. I'm watching the show right now. I'm in the middle of the Dark Tournament arc. I, I actually really like the show a lot, and I'm glad I pre-ordered this figure, even though I didn't know anything about the show last year when I pre-ordered it. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the packaging here. It's pretty nice. You get the figure in the box right there with the contents right there. Lots of nice colors going on as well. And we get to the bottom half here. You have this silhouette of Yusuke right there. It says One Shot Toys and it says One Twelfth Scale Collectible Action Figure. Then right here it does say Spirit Detective in OS001. On this side I believe it says the same thing. Just to, I believe you know like kanji Japanese. I'm not entirely sure. I don't read the lit or I don't understand the language unfortunately. But we do have zero or OS001 right there on the bottom as well. On the very bottom of the box here, it just says Spirit Detective again with some blue on the uh, packaging. You can just say OS001. On the top here, there really isn't much going on. I just want to show off what the top looks like. On the back here, we have this nice silhouette image of Yusuke getting ready to fire off his spirit gun. It does say ages 15 and up. We have some warnings right there. One tool skill collectible figure and made in China. Let's go ahead and get this figure out of the packaging. So here's the figure out of the packaging, and overall, I think that this company honestly did a very good job with the figure. I forgot to mention I ordered this off China Model Toys. I will try to leave a link down in the description because uh, this thing, again, is pretty sold out. And sometimes, if they're sold out, they won't show up on a website. But I'll try as best as I can. Anyway, I think that they did a really good job once again. Not entirely perfect, but there's some things about this figure that are going to be really fun that you can do with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that he comes with, then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So we have an operation manual here, and I think this will actually give you a good idea of what this sculpt is going to look like underneath, because this figure is completely covered in clothing, which I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, or, you know, if I'll do, I don't even know if I'll do it carefully, if I'll be able to take off the clothes at least right now. But it shows you how to use some of the different options here, which uh, I'm going to have to be careful with, because some of the stuff on this figure is pretty stiff, we'll get into that in a second. So here are the alternate faces that we get with it. this one right here, which looks off to the side, and he's got this little grin right there. We also get this one here where he's looking straight and he has an angrier face. I think the paint on here and the printing is actually very clean. I believe it is, I can't tell what's painted. Is the hair painted? And I'm not entirely sure. I'm, there could be two separate pieces put together. Uh, but that's what the back looks like. So it, it makes me think that this is actually molded in black or something's going on. Where you can see all that black on the peg right there. It could just be paint rubbing off on it. But... The actual sculpt of the hair, which we'll talk about with this head as well, is very nice. And the faces, again, came out pretty good. They actually have some nice color right there on that lip right there. Surprisingly, we get some alternate bare feet. Uh, a couple times, uh, really one time I can remember, which was earlier on in the show, he, uh, he loses his shoes when he's fighting. But this is cool if you have some way of maybe putting on some slip-on 112 shoes for this guy. This would work great. So that way you don't have to pose them with these. Uh, I mean, these are good shoes, but you don't have to pose them with these all the time. It does have a little bit of articulation right there. Uh, some of this, again, some of the stuff is pretty stiff on this figure, which I'll go over in a little bit. Uh, but interchanging these, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to show because the feet are actually very stiff on the peg. Very surprised that we get interchangeable feet. We do have these hands here, which are more of like these action posed uh clenched hands here which have a little bit of i can't really see the detail on the fingernails i think there is a little bit there but not a big deal if there isn't i wish there's a little bit more detail on the inside of the hand sorry it wasn't showing off very well i don't really see any uh wrinkles in the hands or the palms or whatever so uh that's fine i guess could be a little bit better i'm not at this company as i think relatively new i'm not gonna go too hard on them i guess uh we get to the these hands here more open posed hands again not clenched but these are pretty cool as if he's you know getting ready to dodge fighting someone these look like more relaxed hands where the index finger are separated from the rest of the hands and uh these are pretty cool we also have spirit gun hand very very cool i like this this is going to be very essential for a lot of your poses i have a clenched hand here which i think also has a separated index finger right there because we have a suitcase 
which has some silver paint right there. There's a little bit of paint on the side right there. Kind of looks like there's some books in there. We have the handle too has some silver paint. It's mostly painted in this black paint. A little bit of sculpting going around. It definitely looks like a suitcase. So that's cool. I can use this for other characters too. We have Puske or Poo if you are watching the dub. Uh, this thing is painted really nice. This is uh, Spirit Beast, by the way. And uh, I got the hair right there. This thing is so cute. And uh, again, it's actually very nicely painted. There's a lot of small paint apps, but they did a very good job. It's mostly molded in this uh, blue paint. And I think the way it's molded and sculpted is very good. I'm just sitting on top of his head right there. Last but certainly not least, we do have this plastic bag. And there's a clamp in there for the... Uh, the base we also do have the base right here which has his silhouette like from the front and some spirit wave effects i guess right there with some four different holes for uh these right here these clamps very similar to you know figma or you know, tamashi nations type of uh system there and they will plug in to the base right there and last again last but not least i said it like twice already these are extra buttons in case some of them break off on your figure so that's cool that they gave us these now i mentioned the uh body mold earlier on the operation manual because i have no idea if i'm going to be able to show you any kind of sculpting with this maybe in the legs it's just most of this is an underbody with not much sculpting going on in certain areas i'm sure they have some abs sculpted underneath the uh, outfit here but mostly what you're getting is some sculpting in the hair as well as in the hands that's visible of course the shoes and you get to look at this suit now in person or really on camera it looks a little darker but uh it's a it's pretty bright it looked gray earlier but it's it's green it's definitely green uh maybe not as bright green as it is in the show but it's definitely it looks like his uh you know standard uniform he wears a good amount of the time which has some actually nice buttons going on here they are actually on there very nicely one thing that's cool that i noticed is how you know how do you get this out these are magnets. That's awesome. There's one side here. This is the opposite side right there. And then you can open it up and you can see his white t-shirt underneath, which does have some stitching there. And it's a pretty nice white t-shirt. I can try to take this off. I have no idea if I'll be able to later in the review, but what's cool about this figure is that this option here allows for you to do different outfits for Yusuke because he does wear different clothes throughout the show. Uh, the man is styling. He has a great wardrobe. And uh, eventually I want to get some other clothes for him. Maybe do the dark tournament arc uh, version. Or, uh, you know, sometimes he wears that green casual jacket with jeans. You have the green pants here, which have a belt sculpted here. I have, I, uh, it is kind of like this fake leather material for the belt. We have an actual metal buckle there too. So that's cool. That's what the back looks like. They actually stitched belt loops on there. That's pretty cool. From one person I've talked to online who also has this figure, the shirt here and I believe the pants are connected by one single thread. Uh, you would have to separate that to take off these clothes. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that this review. I'm just letting you know. Uh, but the overall stitching, the, the quality of the fabric they used is really nice. We also These pockets work. I have to get, let me get one of the flatter hands, more relaxed hands here. These could be used for, um, you know, these hands were for relaxing, but also for putting in the pockets. So these pockets are functional. That is really cool. Cloud to honestly, sometimes the Mezco figures, they don't even, they're not even that functional. Um, sometimes, not all the times. So we do have uh, the hands here. We feel a little loose in the joint here. I think it's mostly in, you know, the actual peg. Let me see what it looks like when popping it off. It's a very standard peg. It's about a little longer, but about the size of what you would get with maybe like a, uh, you know, something with Tamashi Nations or even Good Smiles Figma figures. And the last thing I want to talk about, actually, to before I go to the last thing, I haven't even talked about the head sculpt for this one. This is the basic head sculpt he comes with. It looks really good. The light shining in his eyes is really nice. The hair is sculpted very well. And uh, it's just this very slick black hair. Looks a lot like his hair in the show. Uh, I have no idea if they'll eventually, this company will make another version of Yusuke because his hair kind of does part in some uh, episodes. That would be cool to see. 
Uh, we also have the shoes here, which are uh, they're just really tight. This is the one thing that worries me is these shoes. Uh, the joint here is very, very tight. But they are really nicely painted with black on the top, brown on the bottom there. They actually do have some good treading on the bottom there. I think that that's what the top of the shoe looks like. These are very cool slip-ons. I forgot to mention we do have uh, buttons on his cots. These nice gold buttons here. Everything again is nicely tailored. Things sometimes it does to me look a little baggy, mostly in the chest, just because you have to put a you know you have to make sure that this thing isn't too tight on the figure. Um, but this this just is a really good look for a figure like this. There's another company I forget the name. Uh, I'll probably leave something. In the screen here they're making one that's an all plastic version that one doesn't look bad i think i would prefer having an all cloth version though just so i can do pretty much whatever i want with it articulation is about on the same lines as other import companies so the head is on this ball joint right here it's on this neck peg stick ball joint there's also articulation going into the uh from the neck into the body let's pop that back on there side to side actually really good side to side it actually, this will fall. This face falls off just a little too easily, but it will pop on just as easily. Side to side, all the way around. Pretty good range of motion there. We do actually have a butterfly joint, which is a little tight on mine, so I'm going to be careful. So I go forward and back that much. Arms can go all the way around, but the clothes do restrict articulation. That's one thing. If, if you know you don't like the cloth figures, the articulation could be restricted. Just be careful. In and out here. Is there a separate arm swivel? There is a separate arm swivel, actually, right there for the bicep. We do have double joint elbows. And we do, I don't know if there's any other, there's no other, uh, nothing at the elbow. Sometimes there would be rotations, but we do have wrist swivel here and here and whatnot. We do have a hinge, so it allows for you to go up and down eventually or go in and out if you wanted to. We do get ab crunch, which actually works really well. It goes forward, back, side to side. It will rotate at the upper chest. I do believe there's a separate waist swivel. We do have legs that go forward that much back sort of the in and out split because of the pants kind of gets restricted but you push up a little bit that's how far out it goes and then we do have an upper thigh swivel here we get the double joint knees right there that's good we do have a swivel actually separate at the uh, ankle right there up and down which is very tight i believe it does have the ankle rocker and then again the hinge on the feet are very tight i just i'm gonna have to heat these up later i can't really do it right now the one other thing about the soft plastic is that it may eventually form wrinkles over time, depending on what poses you keep it in. So keep that in mind. But uh, even if, you know, this is a cloth figure that has some restrictive qualities because of the, you know, again, cloth covering plastic, you can get into pretty much any pose you want. So I'm in my bathroom because I finally heated up this figure's feet. Man, this, this was extremely difficult to do. So there are the bare feet on there. They actually look pretty good. Again, if you have some way of finding maybe some slip-on shoes for these bare feet, that would be really sick. You have to heat these feet up in order to put them on. They're not going to go on there just as, their, uh, as themselves. And then we have the shoe here. I had to heat this up extremely just to finally get the toe hinge to move. So... Every time you mess with the feet, I recommend, you know, you know, replacing certain stuff. You need to heat it up. It is very important because there is potential that you can break the feet on the figure. For size comparisons, I have a couple of SH figure arts. On the left, that is Cowboy Bebop's Spike Spiegel. On the right, that is the recently reviewed Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuji Itadori. So since this figure in the middle is 112th scale, it is going to be a little bit taller than SH figure arts. They do run a little bit smaller. If you wanted to... Mix and match these two lines together, unfortunately. Keep that in mind, this figure will be smaller. Not by much, though. It's definitely going to be taller than a Figma. If you look on the left there, that is Deku from My Hero Academia. I mean, Deku is a pretty small character, but, but still, it's, it's this figure in the middle is very tall. But it is not taller than Wenwu on the right there. There's a Marvel Legends Wenwu. It's going to be a little bit taller than Yusuke. So overall, this figure is pretty good. It may sound like I'm not super impressed. That's just because they're... There really isn't much to talk about with this figure. It's just basically what they're doing with Mezco, sort of. You have soft goods covering a sculpt underneath, which won't really have any details, or you know, besides muscles. Uh, what would really make this figure shine, of course, is if you add your own clothes 
to this figure, which eventually I will do. Or I'll just have to wait and see which ones I decide to choose, though. Not really many problems with my figure. There really isn't any paint apps issues or anything. But one thing I do want to mention for my figure, the wrists, the hinge are a little loose. If you had like the suitcase in one hand, it could maybe be a little hard to pose since it's loose. But majority of the time with the rest of the hands, you're not going to have a problem with that. Just tight joints. That's really the only problem I have with this figure. I think that they did a very good job capturing Yusuke's likeness from the anime. It's definitely a use case. I really do like the tailored clothes. They are very clean for a company I, I am not super familiar with. I think this might be one of their first figures. I could be completely wrong, but something like this is, is not easy to do. And I think that they did a very good job. This was like 60 bucks when I got it, which is not that steep. It, I don't know how available it is anymore. There are different retailers. Again, I'll try to leave links down in the description below where you can try to find some, but I got it from China Mata Toys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figure, what you think about the review. Leave a like, share amongst your friends. Follow me on Instagram for more content over there, and I'll see you guys later.